Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this problem. It was a recommended question though I modified a little bit because the original diagram was upside down so I decided to bring it upright and the first question there was to find the radius of this semicycle. You can see a semicycle inscribed in a triangle but I don't think we can solve this problem without finding the radius. This is why I decided to neglect it. So now let us read the question. We are asked to find the area of the shaded part. You can see the shaded part here. We are given that this triangle has a side length BC equal to the other side length AC. So this side length and this side length are exactly the same. This means that the triangle is an isosceles triangle. The height of this triangle is given as 30 cm. So this line from this button to the top vertically like this is 30 cm and since the triangle is an isosceles triangle the height of the triangle you will divide the triangle equally forming two congruent triangles okay let's continue the angle acb which is this one acb is given as 130 degrees and half of 130 degrees is 65 degrees this is why we have 65 degrees here plus another 65 degrees making 130 degrees we are given pi to be equal to 22 over 7 so how do we start our main target is to find the area of the shaded region we cannot do so without finding the area of the entire triangle number one number two we have to find the area of this semicircle number three subtract the area of semicircle from the entire area of the triangle whatever is left is said to be the area of the shaded region so let us do some sketch here um, radius remember from this point to this point is radius this is the center the center of the circle to any part of the circumference is said to be the radius so you can see this line is tangent to the semicircle this one as well and you know that from the tangent to the center of a cycle is also a radius so this is radius and because this line is tangent to the semicycle we formed another right angle here this is a right angle because radius is directly connected to the tangent at 90 degrees so now let us continue having known this angle to be 65 we want to find the distance from this point to this point and we can call it x we want to find the distance there remember so katua so katua is telling us the relationship between different uh, side lengths and the angle in between them we are given this angle to be 65 and um, x is said to be opposite to that angle so we have opposite and this height is adjacent to that angle so we have opposite we have adjacent this is what we have to use tan this stands for tan of that angle we have cos we have sine so we are going to apply tan ratio so tan 65 degrees is equal to this stands for the opposite this is adjacent opposite divided by the adjacent and the opposite is x divided by the adjacent which is the height of this triangle 30. so to find x which is opposite to that angle we can now multiply both sides by 30 and x will be equal to 30 tan 65. so let me use my calculator to press this direct so we have 30, 10, 65. What I have is approximately equal to 64. So X is equal to 64 cm. Therefore, the length from here to here is said to be 64. And um, we have another 64 here, remember? 64 and 64 is said to be the base of this triangle, but for now let us only consider the side length but we can apply Pythagoras rule 
to find the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle i can even name this place as d let me name it as d let me name this point as e now let us continue our main target is to find the length of ca now oac is called the same um, from Pythagoras rule we can see that ac squared which is the longest side will be equal to cd squared plus uh, ad squared let's substitute ac is what we are looking for let us leave it as ac squared cd this is cd which is 30 squared plus ad we have it as 64 squared ac squared is now equal to um this is 900 plus 64 squared 64 squared is um 4096 4096 now let us add them together we have 4996 but our main target is to find ac so we can now take the square root of both sides we have ac equal to square root of 4996 we're supposed to add plus or minus here but remember all lengths are positive so we have to leave it like this so we have the square root of this equal to 70.6 so we can approximate it ac is now equal to 71 cm okay this side length is 71 cm this angle is 90 remember the total angle also here is 90 originally 90 plus 65 plus 25 will give us 180 this means that this angle here is 25 degrees but we have partitioned this remember this is 25 this is 90 this angle here will be 65 degrees remember i told you that this smaller right angle triangle is similar to this big right angle triangle dea is similar to dca so now let us compare the two to find our uh, radius the hypotenuse of the big right angle triangle is ac let's take the ratio of that hypotenuse to uh, the opposite side which is CD it will be similar to this one as well we have AD for the smaller one divided by DE so now let's just substitute AC is 71 cm CD is 30 cm AD is 64 and DE is r which is our radius so now we can cross multiply 721 times r is 721 r this is equal to 30 times 64 we have 30 times 64 1920 to find r we can now divide both sides by 721 divide by 7 to 1 and we have approximately equal to 27 r is equal to 27 cm so we can write it here and delete this information 27 cm okay now having obtained the radius let us go ahead and find the area of this isosceles triangle area of triangle is equal to half the base times the height and this is 1 over 2 multiplied by the base 64 and 64 because this 64 is for the other right angle triangle but this place is also 64 remember so it is going to be 64 64 uh, so it is going to be 64 times 2 is going to be the base multiplied by the height which is 
30 cm. This will be equal to, this two will cancel this two leaving only 64 multiplied by 30. So 64 multiplied by 30 is said to be the area of triangle. We have 1920. 1920 cm squared is said to be the area of the triangle. So now let us go ahead and find the area of semicircle. Area of semicircle. Remember the area of a circle is pi r squared, but because this is half of a circle, you have to divide by two. So this is equal to, pi is given as 22 over seven, so we have 22 over seven, multiply by radius squared, and our radius is 27, so we have 27 squared, all divided by two divide by two so now let me use my calculator and press everything direct we have 27 squared multiply by 22 divide by 7 and finally divide by 2 we have 1146 approximately 1146 cm squared approximately this is the area of semicircle this is the area of triangle so now we are going to subtract this from this to get the area of the shaded part so area of the shaded part is equal to area of triangle minus area of semicircle. Area of triangle is given as 1920 minus 1146. This is equal to, we have 1920 minus 1140. 46 we have 774 774 cm squared this is said to be the area of the shaded shaded part this is said to be the area of shaded part 774 cm squared and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching this year to our learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos